Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we're continuing here in Cookstown. And we're still on the grounds at Killy Moon Castle. And of course, Killy Moon Castle, to get to it, you have to actually come through the golf course. But before you come here, if you are coming here, uh, you can book a tour uh, with the Tourist Information Office because this is a private castle, it's a private house. And uh, so don't just come of your own butt, but you can actually book a tour. And uh, I have uh, asked the lady, um, one of the, the uh, relations, if I could film here. And so she told me that it would be okay to record. So the, you can see the tower there. And so there is a big connection here, believe it or believe it not, with uh, the US Army. But before I talk about that, I'm going to show you this old carriage. The castle's fantastic, isn't it? And make sure you check out the last wee video I done on uh, the front of the castle and down the other side of the castle. And look at this. <laughs> An old carriage. There's the whip. And the light, the old light. Brilliant, isn't it? Fantastic. Back in the day, before there was motor cars, it was horsepower then, definitely. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. But uh, Killy, Man, or sorry, Killy Moon Castle was actually home to the 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment of the uh, 82nd Airborne, Airborne Division of the US Army from December 1943 till February 1944. So that's pretty amazing, isn't it? And the officers actually stayed in the castle. So they were billeted in the castle and the paratroopers were actually, uh, they were housed, or billeted, in uh, huts. And so it's, pretty, it's a pretty amazing place, as you can see. And again, I don't know whether that was an old church or, or what, but there's a wee inscription there, so we'll see what that says. Pretty amazing, isn't it? And that's the biggest rooster I've ever seen. I think of that cockadoodle doo in the morning, I would waken up the whole of Cookstown. <laughs> Let's see what this, if there's anything on this. Oh, this actually mentions the troops dedicated to the memory of the 505th Regimental Combat Team. 82nd Airborne Division, United States Army, stationed in Cookstown, 9th of December 1943 to 13th of February 1944. And then it's, uh, that's the combat campaigns, Sicily, Italy, Normandy, Holland, Belgium, and Germany. And so they were billeted here. So I'll take you down and have a wee look down here. That's some rooster, isn't it? Could you imagine the eggs that you'd get from that? It would be... The, the, it would be Easter eggs from the hens that you would get <laughs> with the size of that rooster. It would be like Easter eggs from the hens, wouldn't it? I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is now. Plenty of outhouses here, old buildings. So we'll take a wee walk over here, see what we've got. It's great to explore places like this. I think it brings the kid back out in me. <laughs> when I was young in primary school, the school used to take us to castles and museums. And, and I can remember going to Castle Ward and I used to bring my wee pack lunch and all with me. So it was fantastic, I loved it. I remember in Castle Ward they had the secret passage. And when you're a kid, of course, that, that secret passage is wow, my goodness. It's fantastic. 
There's the firewood. And that's the back of the castle, as you can see. There's an old building there, now. There's more old buildings there. Amazing to think that the American troops were actually billeted here, isn't it? Fantastic. That's a great evening sky, isn't it? There's the side of that old building. You can see the old sign there. <laughs> It says Cookstown. I think that's seven and a quarter miles. This is fantastic, these old buildings. So not only has Kelly Moon Castle got a connection with the uh, Stuart family who came over during the plantation and James Stuart who built the original castle here, but it's also got a connection with the American paratroopers. Fantastic when you think of it. Now you can see the animals on the wall. That's like an old millstone there. There's a big eagle. Fantastic. And I like to thank the people for uh, letting me film them. And here, there you can see the entrance gate with the two eagles on it. And so it was great to to be able to film around the castle. There's that bell again. Get a better view here of it. buildings. Look at the cobbled walkway here, fantastic. I say that's been there for a brave while. Brilliant. There's more old buildings up there. And the sheep. You can hear them bam. So it's uh it's obviously still an operating farm this. I didn't realise that it was a farm as well. But it is.
A little brickwork there, the blocks. Some say some of them blocks, aren't they? Fantastic. These have been lengthy videos, but I think the both of them have been worth it because this is fantastic. And as I say, until today, I didn't actually realise that uh, this place existed. So there you are, until my good friend Henry from Cookstown Elam actually told me about it. So there you are. Yep, it's still a farm. You can see the animals there. The cows. So it still operates at a far as a farm, this castle as well. And <coughs> I'm going to show you, excuse me, I'm going to show you the uh, we miniature castle here. There you go. I can remember when I was a kid, I used to make castles out of cardboard. <laughs> And I used to have a bucket castle. If you remember the old bucket and spade, and the bucket when you, you when you were a kid, you took them to the uh, the beach with your parents. And one of the buckets was in, in the shape of a castle. And I'll just show you the outside here. There's the horse's head. And as you can see, it's private property, no trespassing by order. So, if you are coming up, make sure you have permission. So pretty amazing. I don't know what that is now. Where's a wee house? It's a wee house. There's the door. Cracker, isn't it? And that's the animals I showed you. There's a telephone box. So at least if my uh, battery goes down, I'll be able to make a phone call. <laughs> It used to be a common place. There is still some of them around the country, it's still in use. There's the eagle. So I'll give you one last wee, wee look at the castle before I, I end the video. I'll try and get it where you're not blinded by the sun there. So there you go. That's Kelly Moon Castle. Which has a big connection with the Stuart family, who were originally planters. And uh, they built, James Stuart built the first castle here in 1676. And uh, then it also, there, the family crypt is actually at the old, uh, the old church, the old graveyard. Uh, so it wasn't, sorry, it wasn't 1676, 1671 when James Stewart actually built the original castle. And uh, then it was destroyed by fire, as I say, in 1801. And then in 1802, it was Colonel William Stewart that built the present day castle. And so thank you for joining me on the Church History Trail. Again, if you enjoyed the channel, please like and subscribe. God bless.